everyone. Jack from Trading Matrix here. I hope you are well. I hope you had a wonderful Easter, a nice restful one, and you're back at it, uh, ready for an exciting Q2. Uh, this is our first trade talk of the quarter uh, for the 11th of April. I was away last week, hence there were no trade talks. Um, so we are bringing you part two now of the sugar trade. We entered um, the week before last. We did so on an intraday basis. Um, just to reiterate, if you haven't seen the part one, please do go and watch that one first because it's going to explain why we got into it and our thought process going into uh, the Friday close of that weekend. We have time frame rolled this one up and had a very uh, bullish continuation of the upward trend. Uh, we sold, sorry, we purchased some puts to go synthetic long straddles going into the weekend. We closed half of these out. Uh, we decided we'd actually bought too many. We wanted to be synthetic long calls rather than straddles, which we did. Uh, we then uh, pretty much sat in the trade all of last week until Thursday. Uh, we sold out uh, half our position, uh, just above 23.50, but on a weekly breakout target, the market had moved um, a good couple of ATR on the weekly, and we decided to cash in half. Uh, we then rolled up our protective puts from strike 2225 up to 2350. Uh, this is to lock in further profits. Uh, yes, uh, there's a cost in doing so. However, given how far the market has moved in such a short space of time, uh, we feel that, there, there, that there's always going to be a chance of a reversion lower. Uh, and indeed, we wanted to protect against this. Uh, now, the market is very bullish uh, on high, uh, from a higher time frame perspective. Um, so as you can see, it's in a persistent uptrend. It's looking uh, very robustly bullish. So we've rolled this up to focus from daily and intraday up to weekly, in fact. So we foresee staying in this trade uh, for a number more weeks. Uh, to, do, to this end, we have rolled out our uh, protective puts the same strike as uh, so we bought a diagonal, not a diagonal, bought a calendar spread, uh, rolling it from our May expiry at 2350 to the same strike in June. Uh, sugar, tr sugar contracts do not have uh, super frequent um, uh, expiries. It's not like trading S&P or crude or anything like that, which is more liquid. Uh, so we've rolled it out one month because we want to stay in this one uh, uh, longer and we want to give this as much opportunity uh, to keep rallying as we can. Uh, we've also, to uh, take a peel um, and cash in some profits, we've collected a call spread for continuation, strikes 24.25 and 25.25. Rather than selling pure calls, uh, which would completely cap our upside, we've sold call spreads, which uh, will bring in premium and also not be so capping of our upside. If sugar explodes, then we are going to re-benefit more uh, from the gamma kicking in, and um, we, we will get longer as we rally. Uh, we, we won't have a complete cap on our upside if we just uh, sold the calls uh, without buying some back at a higher strike. I hope that's clear. Um, so this is a trade we will be revisiting. Uh, we probably won't be bringing you an update uh, today, uh, not today, excuse me, tomorrow uh, or later this week, uh, but we will be revisiting this one again. Uh, it's one of our best trades of the year, up just shy of 12R in this one on a risk reward basis. Uh, so yeah, very happy with this one and we will be revisiting again soon. Thanks for watching. I hope that's all clear. There's quite a few moving parts to that. So please do go back on rewatch if anything's unclear and uh, we will talk to you again soon. Cheerio.